same violence as another kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's a Black Gen Z mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's get into the video. Good morning. It's February 7th. I'm Vince Petrano. And I'm Susan Kim. Appreciate your time with us bright and early on this Monday morning. This morning is going to be cold and quiet, so we want to check in with our Brian and Adriana coming up in just a little bit. But first, let's get to our top story this Monday. Today, police are expected to release more information about a shooting in Brown Deer that left three people dead and a fourth person injured at the Park Plaza Apartments over the weekend. Our Elaine Rojas Castillo is live with more on that investigation this morning. Elaine. Good morning, Vincent, Susan. Now, we are expecting to learn the names of the other two victims in the incident, but Police say that it started from a domestic dispute and that the person who was shot in the foot was just trying to help. Man, so um, I definitely wanted to cover this story because uh, another instance of a super gremlin taking out uh, innocent people, takes out his baby mother, and it's wild because this dude is a rapper. Um, we've covered stories where these rappers have um, taking out their baby mothers, uh, like Jay Stash. So it's pretty tough out here for these sisters, man. They're getting obliterated. Now, the suspect, a 26 year old Larvell Huddleston, was the ex boyfriend of one of the victims, who was 23 year old Ariana Reed. Now, Family say that Reed was here to drop off her two-year-old son, Egypt, to, to spend some time with his father. Now, the little boy was unharmed and now is in the... Wow, man. And look at her. She's beautiful. The child is beautiful. I mean, I've already said this before, but... You know, back in the day with women like this, we would want to court them, take them out, treat them nice, be chivalrous all that but nowadays these dudes is just murking them and i do have to put a little bit of the onus on this woman right here for even dealing with this type of guy and obviously she probably didn't see the signs of him snapping but i'm gonna show you guys a little bit in a little bit this guy was obviously a thuggo he's obviously a pookie and ray ray okay and it, it's it's really really tough and it, matter of fact i wouldn't even call him a pookie and rayway he we gotta change the <laughs> the names because it's it now it's it's the the aquarius and in cavantre or something like that like we have to switch it up a little bit because the names are getting crazier pookie and Ray Ray is outdated and you know unfortunately this woman or this woman was dealing with this guy and he was straight unhinged in the care of her family on saturday morning dozens of police officers from multiple agencies could be seen responding to a shots fired call at the apartments and surrounded the building the suspect then shot at officers from a second floor balcony but no police were injured from a building away neighbors could hear the shots and see the young woman lying on the ground from their window That's crazy. During the shootout. I heard bang, bang, bang. Then a few minutes later, I heard bang, bang, bang. I said, oh, no, that's gunshot. I had seen the man before. You know, he talked to me in the garage. That's not a man. Oh, no. That's a super gremlin on demon time. He tried to help me with my car one day. And the young lady and her baby. Now, again, we're still waiting to learn the names of those two victims who witnesses say were just trying to help defuse the situation, but police are expected to release more details later today. Reporting live in Brown Deer, Elaine Rojas Castillo, TMJ4 News. 23 year 
Well, this morning, a family is grieving. Their daughter, 23 year old Ariana Reed, was among those killed in Saturday's apartment complex shooting in Brown Deer. Deanna, it's not just her parents that Ariana is leaving behind. That's right, Jaron. Ariana Reed was also the mother to a two year old son, Egypt. Her parents say that they hope that this little boy grows up to be as loving and as caring as his mother. Reed's family. Pops looks irate. He looks pissed. His mother, Reed's family, tells 12 News that she shared the child with the suspected shooter who police say shot and killed himself. Her mother says Ariana was no longer in a relationship with the suspect and moved out just a few days ago. They say that she still wanted to co-parent, telling 12 News that she went to drop off her child to be with his dad at the... Woo! So that, that debunks the, oh, these women are keeping the child away from the man and... and and hold on, I mean, she's going over there dropping the kid off and he takes her out. So this is not a case of parental alienation. The apartment and they never imagined that she wouldn't make it home. My husband and I got a phone call around 10 in the morning and it was him she saying it's over. Come get Egypt now. Wow. So he called the parents. I mean, what a POS, man. These super gremlins. <laughs> I mean, bro, read the room. You just killed their daughter, and now you're calling them, telling them to get their grandson. And I know there were a lot of thoughts and emotions going through their mind like, yo, if we go there, is he going to set us up is he gonna try and get up like so much going on i if i was pops i would have pulled up with the mark chickablago and start bussing from my understanding is when she dropped him off and as she was leaving he shot her from the balcony yeah. and then ended up shooting the two people that was trying to help our okay. daughter so wow so she was leaving and he shot that woman mm. Mm -mm -mm. We believed that if they would have gotten her help, she, she still would have been, been with us. Yes. A heartbreaking story there this morning. Two year old Egypt is safe and now living with his grandparents. And we're still waiting on more details, Jaron, from this investigation. Yeah, and the police also waiting to learn the identities of the other victims in this case. Continue to search for more clues. Police continue to search for more clues in a shooting in Brown Deer yesterday that left three people dead and a fourth person injured. Bruce Harrison spoke with the family of a young mother who was among those shot and killed. Ariana Reed's brother Aaron left Milwaukee. He was afraid to start a family in a violent city. Mm. So this brother left Milwaukee because he did not want to start a family in a violent city, man. Shout out to that brother. Um, we need more guys like this who um, excommunicado from the communita. <laughs> Even though I know people are saying, oh, well, why, would, why are you leaving the hood? Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Okay. Um, this brother obviously has some good sense. Loved his sister. And, you know, unfortunately, she was taken out by this super gremlin on demon time but violence brought him home yesterday in a rush when his sister was shot and killed it's like a it's like a hole that i ain't gonna never be able to close you know what i'm saying it's like a close family big brother aaron watched out for ari as she was known by her family you know, i was always there to protect her every day you know what i'm saying any questions any school yard bullies we went to school together we seven to eight years apart, so I was always the one she came to when any, anything came up. Now, he's here to speak for her. She was the life, you know what I'm saying? She was the life of the family. Anytime we came together, we always look for my little sister to keep the joy going on around us. Ari's family says her ex-boyfriend and father of her child shot her to death. She Look at that baby, man. No mother, no father. And we talk about generational wealth we talk about trauma inflicted from slavery no the, the the trauma is being inflicted by these super gremlins and it continues 
to this day. He stopped by his home to drop off their two-year-old son, Egypt. The suspect's brother tells TMJ4 News that man's name is Larvell Huddleston. Police believe the suspect shot and killed himself. Ari's family is struggling to accept that gun violence in the city has touched them. Gun violence. See, look, they always try and... Oh, gun violence. No, this is Super Gremlins on Demon Time violence. <laughs> and unless we address that head on, this is going to continue to happen. For it to hit home, like the way it's hitting home, it's just it's, it's diabolical. You know, it's really diabolical, and we are hurting so bad. Ari was studying to be a registered nurse. She also ran a small design company. Her mother, Tracy, told us Ari loved her family. Together, they'll raise Egypt. Any, and everything that he could possibly need or want in life, he can always call me. I'll always come back home in a heartbeat. Reporting in Milwaukee, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News. And police have not yet identified the other person killed or another man who was injured in the shooting, but police say they believe both those people were trying to help out after a deadly domestic dispute. And shout out to them people, man. Shout out to them people. They probably didn't even know her like that. And one of them risked, well, both of them risked their lives. One of them died for a woman that they essentially didn't even know. Hey! Hey, I'm in apartment 214. I'm finna kill myself. Just come get my son. And why? I I don't even get it, bro. <sighs> Niggas gonna think this over a bitch. It's not, bro. It's not. I never get no fuck about none of that shit, bro. I had bitches fucking with me a long time ago. It's not. Oh, really? It looks like you got mad emotional over the... I mean, she was leaving. She was leaving, bruh. Could have just let her go. She dropped your son off. You gonna kill her in front of your son? Niggas gonna think this over a bitch. It's not, bro. It's not. I never get no fuck about none of that shit, bro. I had bitches fucking with me a long time ago. It's not. It's not. Look, guys, and I'm going to show you some of this guy's music. Um, Veli Vel is his name. But first, I want to show you some of the comments. The comments, a, a, a lot of them are sympathizing with Veli Vel and not the victims. When are we going to learn that seeking help for our mental health and wellness doesn't make us weak? R.I.P. Veli Vel. Condolences to the victims. My heart goes out to the child. Damn, you were talented. I wish you didn't take the route you took and you got the help you needed. May the Lord watch over the families impacted by this selfish action. R.I.P. Bro, you had real talent. This is where you should have kept your focus. Wow. And then this guy goes, no, he was a loser and did one of the worst things he could do to his son. And then Big Steppa comes in and says, no, he could have killed his son, too, but he didn't. Wow. People are talking about real talent, mental health. He knew what he was doing. The man spent all his time rapping about killing, and you guys are surprised when he actually, actually follows through with it? Okay. Some real sense. Always RIP to the innocent men who died protecting this child's mother who was also killed. Meanwhile, Veli himself is in hell burning forever where he should be i like that take um let's see let's see so he's this guy says you goof a word b word go sit down want to be young again b it's 2022 life ain't that easy no more Grow up, stop talking ish on here. You're what, 35, find a better outlet? So he's responding to this woman who says, the F that even supposed to mean? Um, I've been divorcing me and my ex and her new best friend went out on double dates. That ain't your cat and who cares who she's effing if y'all ain't together and y'all are both seeing other people. Quit being weak and think um, you own people. If he had a problem with it, he could have just told them to leave and shut the effing door. 
We need to go back to how it was in the 90s. Listen to my boy JT Money. And this woman says, this is a black woman, K Queen. Fly high, Vel. Are you serious? Wow. Wow. These are black women um, in the comments vouching for him. Real Deals has a good take. He says, this is the type of dudes these chicks be liking. And look what happened. Absolutely. I, I totally agree. I made that point too. Um, Yeah. This is another black woman. R.I.P. Bruh. Ish sad. Wow. So these are black women vouching for this man. <laughs> and I'm going to show you exactly what he's about. In this bitch, little nigga, do not front your move. AKs, big Glock scopes, beams. Not a game to be played, I know you heard about me I get the beating on your ass, spread the word about me Chirac made, meal raised on the same shit Streaming SOC, cause you know I'm with that gang shit Keep a glizzy with a 30, bitch, I let it bang quick Rudy grabbed the rope, I find a tree and let him hang from it Gang violence is another kind of violence So it is what it is.